Привет! I'm Sandu and I still haven't decided on the greeting. Today I challenged myself to make a game in 2 hours. Let's see how that ended. Five minutes before start, I sketched a rough game plan. The main idea was to somehow involve penguins. Why? Because they're cool, duh. And now it's game time. Turn the fans to turbo and make sure that nothing burns. Step two, create a unity project and give it a serious but self-explanatory name. Just like that, we are ready to begin. So it's 11 in the morning and I'm starting working on the game. It's time to draw some assets. Let's jump in Photoshop and draw this cute little fella that holds the proud name of a Pinguelian. Also, being a professional artist, which I definitely am, I'm gonna use an online tool that will help me generate the color scheme for this game. I knew that they want the main color to be some bright blue, so that's what I stick to. Second thing I drew, despite looking like a poop, was intended to be a projectile, but we'll change that later. Then it was time for the player's spacecraft. Here I decided to keep all the shapes simple, and that's definitely not because I can't draw. <laughs> that's just because uh, I like simplicity, okay? Export it to Unity, add the handle, and voila, our player. Now let's add some movement, shall we? Oops. Well, nothing worse from the first try anyway. I forgot to remove some constraints. Should be working properly. Yep, gorgeous. We can move our players, so let's add some juiciness to the game by adding some lights. I've also changed the background color and right off the bat I must say the game looks much much better. But it still doesn't feel quite right yet. Now that the ship rotates towards the handle makes it way more organic. The player controller is ready and we still have one and a half hours, which is great. Let's drag the enemy in, but we're still missing something. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Reshape the poop projectile and guess what? Added light to it. Now the pingulians finally can fight back. Well, almost. There is no health system or collisions yet, but that's what we're gonna do now. I've quickly made a health bar and added colliders to all of the objects in the scene, wrote some boring code to make the whole thing work and that's what we end up with. The ship now takes damage. Cool. We have a little less than one hour left and it's time for particles. Those will be called whenever the enemy dies. Also made a simple script that will kill the enemy whenever the player flies through it. I say we should add some more bad boys and see it in practice. Now let's slap a tail on that ship. Using Unity's trailer system it was pretty easy to add the trail to the sprite. Also I added some light for the flames. Added trail for the projectiles. And I think the game actually looks good. Also, I made it so when you move you take damage and you heal when you kill enemies. Time to make the enemies spawn randomly on the screen. I won't bore you with the coding part, but as it always happened in programming, it didn't work from the first try. I mean, the enemies would spawn, but I was unable to see them, however I saw the projectiles that they were shooting at me. Gladly the problem was very easy to solve, the camera was unable to see the sprites due to its range, so they were spawning behind the screen somewhere. Now that this is working, I wanted to boost my self-confidence by making them afraid of me. Um, maybe a little too afraid. Yep, that's definitely better. Cool, the game is almost ready and I still have a little less than 30 minutes. It's UI time. I made a kill counter which, as you might have guessed, counts how many kills you've made. And I made a win and lose screens that are called, well, when you win and lose the game. Then I animated those to make them stand out. Damn, that took way more time than I expected it will. Rest of the time was spent on making this particle effect and polishing the visuals of the game. So, I'll let you enjoy the process of me making it. Okay, so it has been 5 minutes more than 2 hours now, and the game is basically ready.
That's all for this video. If you watched till the end, thank you very much. Despite the length of the video, it took a lot, a lot of effort to make it. So I would really appreciate if you'd leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.